All right, Leon. We're heading down the road. We're heading down the road. We're going to meet someone for another Craigslist deal. The person lives about an hour from us, but it's okay. We're going to pick up some Atari cartridges, Leon. Yep. Something to add to the collection. All right, we just made it home. Here's some stuff we got. Check out this box of uh, we got Atari. I see uh, right up front, 7800. Got a box here. That's a shirt. Hey, I don't remember getting yeah. that in, the, in our deal. That's a good deal. Got shirt and shampoo with it. You got shampoo? Okay, we're back inside with our Atari 2600 lot. I have 200 cartridges here. Keep watching to the end of the video and I'll tell you how much I paid for these. I have been collecting Atari 2600 for probably over 30 years. Here's the, my original website I made. It's pro, it, this website could be older than some people that are watching this video right now. I had a huge Atari 2600 collection. I had a mega Atari 2600 collection uh, back in the day. Although I have uh, so many prototypes, Activision pre-releases, one of, was it five or six Surf's Up, original Surf's Up, which I sold for a ton of money to someone. And, well, I ended up selling, I ended up needing to sell off most of my collection. I had X-Men, Mint, complete mint and box. I had music machine, amazing, complete music machine. I mean, these things I end up selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. All right, let's separate these. Uh, okay, that label's not worth anything. Combat. I got boxes of combat cartridges, impact man cartridges. I used to, um, 20, 30 years ago, put ads in the newspaper where I'd buy these for a dollar each. And that's how I got my collection um, years ago. Let's break them up by uh, by brand here. Two adventures. That's pretty good. Where's my Activision stack? Cool thing with Activision, you know, if they, the labels get spotted, that's actually a pretty good label right there. No spotting in that label. Yeah, I found some end labels. You can actually glue these back on, so we'll save these. I didn't see anything super rare in this lot. But I got it at a pretty decent price. I'm gonna put all the Parker Brothers over here. And I'll just go through these real quick here. Yars Revenge, fast food. It's uncommon. It's not super rare, but it's uncommon. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's um, Demon Attack used to be, was always a fun game. Rolls like that's a not that's a. Kind of a decent label for that. Mad. Squeeze box. That label is in really nice condition. And this is a really fun game. I'll put a screenshot in here. Looks like there's a good number of Activision in this lot. Atari Inferno. There's um, a good many US games in here. The rest right here are like three US games. Interesting. Missile Command. What's interesting about this is I helped make the Atari uh, label variation list. It was like 20 years ago. And you can see this one here. It's worth a little bit more. It's a Sears Telegame label. That's when I was really into collecting. And I had so many cartridges in my collection. But I had to sell them. I still have a lot still in shrink wrap. I didn't sell off my shrink wrap collection. Oh, 7800. We'll set that one off to the side. We'll make a new pile for that. I kind of felt like the Atari market kind of kind of shrunk for a while and that they were when Nintendo collecting was taken off that not many people were collecting Atari anymore but what's the market now oh, another Mountain King oh, that's a lot of spotting on that label that's called spotting that's a nice label another US game label all right it's on like Donkey Kong Raiders of the Lost Ark. I could never figure out this game when I was a kid. I have a box of Asteroids. I used to couldn't sell these for 99 cents back back long before eBay. I tried to sell these. I couldn't sell them if I wanted to. Bob Blazer, 7800. Dragster. 
Phoenix is a pretty decent game. No end label. That sucks. Here, like these two are the same exact game. They're both footballs. But one was for the, the Target release. One was the Sears release here. You can see right there, Sears, Robot, and Color Games. I have two boxes full of Pac-Man cartridges. I used to ask like 25 cents for these. E.T. Hey, anybody want an E.T. cartridge? Freeway. I bought this game in 19... What year was this? I bought this game back when it came out. I played this game a lot. This came out before Frogger, I think, for the 2600. This is the reason I bought that. Superman. I, don't, I never really liked Superman. This, this lot is uh, heavy and activated. That's nice. Two more pitfalls. All right. Gorf, where should we put Gorf? Where's CBS games going? Let's put it right here. Kaboom! Now you, that is a classic. And the label's pretty nice. It's kind of an uncommon game. Whoa, I was thinking I was getting 200 game cartridges. I got 194. I got them stacked up. I paid $1.54 a cartridge. That seems like a pretty good deal. Especially when I used to pay a dollar for them like 20 years ago. Here's all the combat and Pac-Man I don't need. Alright, so we got a good selection of Activision cartridges. I was surprised at how much 7800 cartridges there are in here. Anything real rare? Not really. I have almost a complete 7800 inbox collection. Got a really nice demon attack there. Some of these, some of the, what did I get? Five pitfalls? Five pitfalls? A couple fishing derbies? I'll play a patrol. That one's uncommon. Alright, so I'm just going to box these back up for another day. Maybe someday when I'm retired I want to go through these and maybe they'll be worth more money then. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Post your comments below. I appreciate all comments. And I read all comments. Click that subscribe button and comment please. Does anybody still collect Atari 2600? Do you still collect Atari 2600. Thanks for watching.